The CAP project is all about supporting local initiatives and grassroots initiatives. We're supporting 13 one three NGOs all over the island. We launched a call a few months back with the Family Planning Association of Sri Lanka and we received about 130 projects. Among them, we selected 13. We're very proud to work with all these NGOs to end period poverty and improve menstrual hygiene in Sri Lanka. Well, the Embassy of France in uh, Sri Lanka is uh, proud uh, to support the NGOs which are getting together in this uh, collective action against period poverty project, which is first for us and we touch upon a very important issue, health period poverty and the difficulty of access or to knowledge about health, about uh, period menstrual hygiene. So we are very proud to participate in it, to support it and to we are proud to partner with the NGOs who do a tremendous work to help uh, increase education and knowledge about menstrual hygiene. This is an event that we have conducted with the French Embassy of Sri Lanka and the Maldives. It is part of a collective action against period poverty project. We are so glad today that we were able to present a puppet show about a little girl called Noella, who just challenges the norms and values of society and becomes a person of her own. We also have a youth group who is doing a lovely play on how a young girl is kept in a room for two weeks and how she breaks out of it. We've also had a fantastic Bharatanatyam performance and in this performance, menstruation is uh, celebrated. So today has been an important day to bring the topic of menstruation to the fore. We've also had an excellent panel and in this panel there was discussions on how we need to make pads an essential service of medicine so that people don't have to pay high taxes for pads. We've had the government telling their point of view of what they are doing for menstrual hygiene. We've had UNFPA presenting their part and CSOs saying how they are doing it as well.